Oh, the face you're gonna see him make, bro, that's accurate. That's accurate. That's all it takes, too. Oh, oh. Yeah. There you go. Come on, get the mic started. There you go. Come on. Straight up, your boy needed caffeine. I am hurting today to keep it 100% honest with y'all. Uh, feeling like a little bit under the weather, but tucking that to the side because it is a big day, man. So we made the official announcement today that I am Tua's newest coach. So if you're not familiar with that, it's um, a premium coaching service, Take Uncommon Action. Me and my boy Spencer um, are the newest members, the newest coaches. So what we're doing is today we officially opened up our client roster and we're taking um, off-season clients, we're taking general health clients, people who just want to, you know, take their, uh, you know, fitness to the, ne the next level and really maximize their nutrition and their training. So, you know, we built up a lot of hype around it this week and it's just been a couple months in the making, man. So it's very, very exciting stuff. Um, it is the announcement that you guys have been hearing me talk about for a little bit on Instagram if you are keeping up with me on the socials. But yeah, guys, beyond excited. I know you probably can't tell right now just because you know, I'm, waiting, I'm waiting for this coffee to do its little thing. But um, yeah, it's going to be a great day. It's going to be a great week. And I'm just, I am so, so genuinely excited and thankful to be working with such positive and genuine people. Brady, Spencer, um, even Brady's uh, wife, Maddie, like they're just like, it's um, contagious. It makes you want to, you know, just be more of that, be more genuine, be more passionate about, you know, going after the shit you want, just be that authentic version of you. It's, they, they really are like one of the kind of people and I mean that. Um, that's something me and Mariah like that definitely struck us about them. That's something that really struck me and Mariah about all three of them. It's just like their authenticity. So I couldn't be in a better circle. I don't think I could be in a better position. And, and I'm just ready to take this shit to the moon. But what we are currently doing right now uh, is Heading to AMF, I'm lifting with my boy Jaden. Um, we are hitting a chest day, and it's kind of there's there's some uh, special specificities to it that I'll get in once we get there. But uh, it's a big motherfucker, man. <laughs> it's a big motherfucker. So uh, we're gonna go through this push day and just we're gonna try to we're gonna try to hang on. But uh, nah, man, I'm I'm ready for a kick-ass workout. Uh, it was yesterday. Yesterday I turned 22, so, you know, we had the luxury of, you know, even being in prep, going out, get, oh, getting some sushi, um, so your boy is carved up, your boy actually probably has a little bit of excess carbs to burn, so, you know, the pump should be valid, um, and, you know, there's fuel to this workout, but, I mean, it's an exciting time, it's an exciting day. It's a great Friday, great start to the weekend, bro. Let's fucking get it, man. You can already feel the energy from the coffee kicking. I can already feel the, I can already it, bro. Let's just get it. I can feel the <laughs> coffee kicking in. Let's do this shit, man. Welcome to the video. Let's get it. Whatever, bro. 
I just hit some abs and then like, Oh, so you get kind of warm. You gonna hit? Yeah. I'm, I'm oh, shit. I'm right. I want to follow yours. All right, bet. So let me tell you what. Uh, let me set my bag over here. Let me just warm up real quick and we'll get at it. I bet. Say look. All right, so we're here with my boy Jaden. We are hitting a push day. Um, I got my little warm up in and we're about to jump right into it. Nathan Epler, his coach, plays top five in the 212 Olympia. Um, and we are following his chest day, correct? His push day, yep. So we're doing an Olympian programmed push day. Gotta be a crazy one, let's get into it. I've been a huge believer in like, when you, when you come all the way back, stick out your chest, but when you come and contract, you're pushing away from yourself almost. Okay. Boom, just like that. Nice and controlled. Working sets, we will do, depending on the exercise, one to two build ups, then one to two top sets. Okay. And then depending on how hard we're going to we may do the drop set on that last one. We're going basically to failure each other. Yeah, you should. Yeah. Yeah, we sure is. Exactly what they use. Okay. So what are you using it for today? I'm using it because I gotta hit these PRs. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> the face you're gonna see him make, bro, that's accurate. That's accurate. That's all it takes too. Okay. Oh, oh. Okay. Okay. Yep. Okay. We gotta work. We gotta work. We just came out. Do my X leg days low. Oh, that shit, man. Hey. Gotta get you to do it too. It we don't wanna do it. It will. It's like I only got five. Another motherfucker working harder than you, bro. What you gonna do with it? Yeah. You know, so. Yeah. Yes, sir. I like the energy, bro. Oh, fuck. Oh. Come on. Come on. Stay tired. Come on. Come on. Yep. Uh -huh. Set, let's go. Uh. Uh. Come on. Uh. Let's go. Okay. I'm not even getting ready. I got you. So what I've kind of gathered from the three movements we've done so far is we're working with one to two warm-up sets, so it's something lighter, getting a feel for the exact mechanics of the movement. Then we're hopping into two to three working sets, which are all out failure, heavy as fuck. It's definitely a switch up from the like soul bodybuilding base style of training that I'm used to, but that is why I train with other motherfuckers. That is why I want to get in the gym and experience different training styles so I can, you know, formulate different things to see what I like. And two, it really just gives me a basis to program for my clients. Like, 
how does like basically I'm experimenting when I'm training with other people because everybody has little differences and critiques to how they train. So all in all, it's a benefit to get in the gym with my fuckers. when that's the yeah, face of fitness. Their primary position. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that. Yeah. You know, there's so many, bro, I know people that can outrun me, they don't got no abs, bro. Yeah. Yeah. People that do these Spartan races and all that, bro, they don't oh, got you're no You're gonna abs. get a lot of core engagement from doing heavy compound. Exactly. You need heavy compound. Okay, and be you're honest, you need like abs that. If, you, if you know how to activate your core. Yeah. You know? Bro, so, I mean, squats will do it for you. Ooh, like a motherfucker. Brace yourself. Protect your spine, engage your abs, and you're good. Um, what most people do when they sit in the hole, they lose that engagement. Yeah. Now you can't even lift it up on the ground. Even I do that, yeah. So, Absolutely. All right, what are we going for this? There's a genuine different feeling of pushing one to two working sets where you're going heavy as shit all out compared to when you're working with three to five sets and still going to failure, but using a more modest or moderate weight. Like, with lifting this heavy ass shit, I feel much more of a deep activation, especially in my shoulders and chest. So there's, you know, there's different aspects to different styles of training. too long to put it simple and straight uh, I am ready to eat I'm ready to sit my ass down hey we got work today man it was a, uh, it's a big day after the gym too so it's not it's not really chilling it's gonna go down but I am about to eat good training session um, dope you know chatting it up with uh, Jaden and uh, we'll definitely be in here together soon at some point man but, uh, Let's go get some food in our bellies.